So hey everyone, I hope you all are doing well. So from few days I was getting these questions from some of the students, especially freshers, that on which role we are eligible if we are learning clinical SAS. So if you are learning clinical SAS, you are eligible for two roles. CDM and Statistical Programmer. Statistical Programmer is sometimes also known as Clinical SAS Programmer. So what's the difference between CDM and Statistical Programmer? See, CDM is responsible for clinical data management. You need to manage the clinical data. You'll be utilizing the raw data. But Statistical Programmer will standardize the raw data at different level, SDM level and ADAM level. So what will CDM department will do? They will also standardize the data, but at different level. So the output generated by the CDM team that will be input for statistical programmer. So CDM team will standardize the raw data or ensure the raw data is perfect. Now statistical programmer will standardize at SDM Adam level and create reports on that. Now what's the difference between pay for CDM role and statistical role? And before getting into differences in pay, you should also know in CDM department, there are multiple roles. There might be some people who might be working on database. There will be some people or some role who will be working on Excel tool. There will be some people who are working on SAS tool. So the candidate or the employer who are working on SAS tool in CDM department, their salaries are high. Coming to statistical programmer role, that is fully related to SAS. You need to utilize SAS tool fully to analyze the clinical data. So coming to salary difference, let's suppose if salary of a two year CDM clinical data management role is around eight LPA, then a salary of statistical programmer with two year of experience, it will be 10 or 12 LPA. So there will be 20 to 30 percent of difference. Okay, sometimes it can be 10 or 5 percent as well, but most probably on an average 20 percent salary will be higher end for the statistical programmer compared to CDM team. Now coming to differences, see in terms of growth and pay, these differences will be not much visible globally for CDM as well and for statistical as well, demand is good. The only thing you need to ensure along with SAS, if you're working only on SAS, you need to acquire other skills as well, like learning R software and learning Python software because nowadays in the industries they are trying these two tools as well. So guys, I hope you got the clarity after learning clinical SAS on which role you are eligible for getting job. And again, you should remember you should not take separate training for CDM role. Okay, if you are learning or preparing for clinical SAS, okay, clinical SAS role. So you are already eligible for CDM role. So there were some students I have trained in the past. They have taken training for clinical SAS role and they also got selected in CDM role. Okay, because they got the opportunity and they got the good package. So they have started their journey. So there is nothing wrong. If you are preparing for clinical SAS role and you are getting the job in CDM as well, go and get it. And if you are getting the job in statistical as well, go and get it. The only difference will be the 20% in pay and 20% might be in growth. But the knowledge is very similar and you won't notice the difference because this CDM as well and statistical as well, it is one of the highest paying job in CRO. But always remember in CDM, I'm talking about the people who are working on technology, especially SAS, R or Python. Okay, and the same for statistical. So statistical is fully related to SAS and data analysis. In statistical, there are no multiple roles or people who are working on different tools. It is specific to the data analysis or clinical data analysis. So guys, that's all from my end for today. Let's meet in the next video. Till the time, bye-bye everyone and thank you everyone.